All right, Shalom, Shalom, Akim. All right, before we get started, we'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Kakadash. I think you double honor to our apostles and elders, a great Muslim who grew well and taught us the truth according to the Bible. And Shalom to all the brothers out there that the full comes to earth, pushing this word and all righteousness and sincerity. Shalom, as well as Kazafa. Let's come back with another good lesson from GMS Broad in North Carolina. Okay, and um, this lesson is going to be entitled, as you see on the, on the screen below, Okay, you know, the reward of life should be enough. Okay, you know, for the Lord to let us live should be enough for us to fear him all right, and to do his will. You know, the Lord shouldn't have to gift you every five seconds, you know, for you to get up and move in and start doing things. Okay, you know, just the Lord letting you live should be enough. Right, so, so we're going to start with the scriptures, man. You know, through the Proverbs. It's Proverbs 3, chapter I mean, this is Proverbs chapter 3, verse 1. Mm -hmm. My son, forget not my law, but let thine heart keep my commandments. It says, my son, mainly talking to the men of the nation of Israel, so-called Negroes, Latino, and Native American man, okay? And the Israelite foreigner that look like the other heathen nations. But see line go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the men, okay? It says, uh... <clears throat> Verse 2, for the length of days and long life and peace shall they add unto thee. It said what? Most likely. It says stuff from the top of the verse. It said what? Uh, Proverbs 3 and 2, for length of days. For length of days and what? And long life. And that should be enough off rip, okay? And the law, statute, and commandments of the Bible, all right? If you take heed unto these things, all right? what the Lord commanded us to do and how to be as a people, all right? It says, let add length of days, it says, and, and, and long life. That that first part should be enough, all right, for you to fall in line with Yahweh by Shemel Shai, the Lord letting you live, okay? Keep on reading. And peace shall they add to thee. It says, shall they add to thee. So, you know, if we follow what the Lord commanded us to do, which we can't, of course, in this place, America, to the, you know, all the way, but we do it to the best of our ability. You know, they're going to add peace and long life unto you, especially now in the time that we're coming into. But hearkening to the scriptures is going to add long life. OK, because if you follow the scriptures, you're going to do what the Lord has uh, commanded you to do. OK, you know, which is just said right there. It's going to add unto you long life. The Lord is going to protect you. The fear of the Lord is going to be with you, which is going to cause you to uh, turn away from sin. Matter of fact, hold it real fast, brother. You get on second Ezra chapter 16. Um, it should be a slacky, um, Sarak, sorry, slacky, Sarak 2, I believe it was verse 15 and 16. It should say, uh, the fear of the Lord drive away sins. Yeah, I believe that's 16. And stuff, what? Because, like, just in the spirit, that what? That it says, go add long life unto you, because if you follow these lost his commandments to the best of their ability, you're now fleeing away from sin, with sin according to uh, 1 John 3 and 4, is what the transgressions or trespasses of the law, statutes, and commandments of the Bible, okay? Not taking heed to them, all right? So when you have the fear of the Lord, which comes with the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the scriptures, following the commandments to the best of your ability, that's when what death will fl uh, flee from you, okay? You got it, brother? Yeah. This is Sarat 1 and 15. It says, uh, Dang, this hand. No, this is uh, Sarat 1 and 21. The fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai driveth away sins. I said, it driveth away sins. All right, you said that's, that's chapter 1? Yeah. Kind, kind, kind. It said, it driveth away sins, man. Okay? So the fear of the Lord, it, it, it actually takes away the sin. Okay, because what you're not doing it because you fear what will happen to you if you do. All right, you read <clears throat> and where it is present, it turneth away wrath. It's just where it's present, it turneth away wrath. All right, so what we know that the wages of sin, according to the scriptures, is death. But if you take heed unto the law, stage commandments of the Bible to the best of your ability, ultimately, right now, the law of faith, you know. These uh the death, destruction, the calamities about to come upon this place, America, all right, it's gonna flee from you. It's the spirit, it's fun to chime in. You know, it's gonna flee from you. Okay? 
you know, the Lord's saying that, what well, right now we got to be hearkening to his spirit, all right, and, and the, the law of faith, okay, you know, because within that, the, the destruction is going to flee away from us, man, okay, uh, what's on, what's in chapter 2, verse 16? Yeah, uh, so Rock 2 and 16, they that fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh will seek that which is well pleasing unto him. It said, What those that fear the Lord will seek that which is well pleasing unto him. Okay, what's pleasing unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh All right, when what this word is your meditation day and night, as it says in Psalms, the first chapter, the first and second verse. Okay, blessed is that man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Okay, you know, but you walk in the counsel of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and you delight in it. Okay, the Lord is going to have you what stay in this earth forever, and that's what ultimately was going to happen for the elected nation of Israel. All right, <laughs> the Lord chiming in in the spirit, you know, Lord confirming it, man. All right, that in these times. If you're taking heed to the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which is the elect of the nation of Israel, the Lord's will be a part of that number, you're going to be straight, man. Okay? The Lord's going to make sure you have a long life. All right? Any more? Yeah. And they that love him shall be filled with the law. That's right. It said, they that love him shall be filled with the law. So if you love the Lord, you're going to try to please the Lord to the best of your ability, which is what ultimately obedience. Okay? You know? So what? The reward of life is enough for the elect of the nation of Israel. That's all they want, is what? To live. That's why they're getting right with the Lord right now, so they may, what, live. All right, can we get, uh, seek ye the Lord, and, him, and ye shall live. That's what, uh, Isaiah 32. You know, because that's what the elect of the nation of Israel is doing right now. You know, seeking Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, he's a uh, 32 or 52. I can't, I can't remember on, on the spot exactly what it is. But, um, but yeah, you know, that's what the elected nation of Israel is doing right now. Because long life, that's enough for them, okay? You know, having peace of mind, peace of mind, body, and soul, that's enough, you know? Everything else is a perk after that. Fearing the Lord, I get long life, I get to live forever, that's enough, you know? That's enough for the elected nation of Israel. Ultimately, really, is you know, I get salvation, to be real, okay? You know, salvation is enough. Long life as it, oh, that's a plus. The kingdom, being righteous, new body, oh, that's a that's a, that's an add-on, you know? But what, for us right now, the Lord allowing us to live day by day should be enough for us to fear the Lord and get in line, okay? Yeah, you found it, brother? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fine, fine, you know? So, um, matter of fact, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to get this word, because that word long life actually goes into the word basically eternal. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna get this word eternal real fast. To read what it means. This is the word eternal, which is an adjective, and it's the entomology of the word. It says for the late 14th century, from the old French eternal, it says eternal in the Latin, uh, eternale. It says of age lasting. Enduring, permanent, everlasting, endless. So those that would seek after Yahweh by Shem Shai, but ultimately what? The lost is going to be written in our inward part, okay? It's going to be written within us, all right? When we get those new bodies, we're never going to go off. And that long life, that everlasting, the endless life, that's going to be, that's going to be us, you know? We're going to live forever, okay? You know? But we got to take heed to that right now. You know, by saying that, what, the Lord having mercy on me every day is enough for me to get in line. Okay? This is Amos chapter 5, verse 4. Amos. <clears throat> the, for thus saith Yahweh Bashim Yahushah unto the house of Israel, Seek ye me, mm -hmm. and ye shall live. It says, Seek ye me, and ye shall live. Now, you look into the word seek, it means to diligently search for something. Okay? You know? Diligently search for Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Okay, seek the Lord, see what he's pleased in, all right, and ye shall live, all right? So, you know, doing everything that you can to the best of your ability to please Yahweh by Shema Shai, that's a part of seeking the Lord, okay? And what, within that, you're going to receive, what, protection, because you fear the God of the Bible, which is going to ultimately have you have a long life, in the long run, 
Okay, which is the elected nation of Israel. They're doing that right now. Could also we get um, uh, and Isaiah uh, Isaiah one and uh, nineteen. Nineteen. Yep. Yep. The water, brother. That's exactly what I wanted to get. <laughs> and the spirit, you know, just showing you that within serving Yahweh by Shemel Shai, it is a it's a beautiful thing. All right, and just uh, receiving life every day, brothers always say. Just the Lord allowing you to wake up in the morning and get back home and go to sleep. You know, that should be enough for you to fall in line, to fear the God of Bible, Yahweh Vashem Yom Shai. And after that, Psalms uh, 34. You know, because what? With the fear of the Lord comes what? Benefits, which is the protection of Yahweh Vashem Yom Shai. This is uh, Isaiah 1 and 19. Mm -hmm. If you be willing and obedient. I say, if you be willing and obedient. You know, that word willing means you, you, you're trying. You have an effort to it, okay? You want to do it, okay? If you be willing and obedient, which obedience, you know, the Lord said that, what, he would rather us be obedient, all right, than try to give sacrifice, okay? All right? So, what, the elected nation of Israel, they're being obedient in these times, and what, that's going to allow them to have long life. Because it said in Proverbs 3, my son, to keep my commandments, that's you being obedient to the Lord. Okay, you know, and within that, you're going to have a long life. All right, keep reading. He says, you shall eat the good of the land. Meaning the Lord is going to take care of you. Are you going to be remaining in the land? Okay, you know, everything is going to look good for you on the side of the Lord. Okay, you know, it says what? <clears throat> but if you refuse and rebel. But if you refuse and rebel, like two thirds of our people of the nation of Israel, if you refuse and rebel and become a niggar, okay, and, and do opposite what the Lord commanded us to do in these times, which is to fear him and have faith, okay? What's going to happen to you? You shall be devoured with the sword. The Lord is going to consume you. The word devour means to utterly consume, all right, with the sword, any instrument of death, okay? For the mouth of Yahweh Shai have spoken. For the mouth of the Lord, which are the prophets, the men of the Lord have spoken it, okay? So this is why you need to take heed, because it's not... You're not going to have the protection that the Lord is going to provide for those that do take heed to him. Okay, which is the elected nation of Israel. All right, but the protection that they have is because they fear Yahweh by Shemel Shai. And what, the angels are going to protect them from the hell that's about to be placed on this earth. So what, living, the Lord allowing you to live, all right, having that fear of the Lord, this should be enough for you to do what it takes. Okay, but that's going to, that's going to be enough for the elected nation of Israel. <clears throat> it says, uh, Psalm 34 and 7, mm -hmm. the angel of Yahweh Bashmi al Shai encampeth round about them that fear him. It said, round about them that fear him. Okay? The angels are camped around brothers that actually fear the God in the Bible, Yahweh Bashmi al Shai. Okay? Because a part of one, one of the part of the law of commandments of the Lord is what? The first one is to fear the God of the Bible. Fear Yahweh Bashmi al Shai, the one who calls God in Jesus Christ. Okay, all right. Fear the Lord, you know. Depart from evil. Don't you know? Don't observe other guys. Goes to the first ten commandments and, and more. Okay, you know. But it all starts with the fear of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. That should be enough. Okay. Quickly say something. Yeah, go ahead. You know, fearing the Lord first and foremost. You know that angel's gonna cause you to walk with wisdom. That's right. That's right. <clears throat> that what that angel's gonna have you what. Have be really the angel of the Lord is gonna have that wisdom speaking in your ear, man. You know, that's the spirit of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. The angel is telling you, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. You know, that's that's the voice you gotta take heed to, man. You know, in these times, man, move move this way, move that way. You know, the, the angel of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai is gonna tell you uh, what's pleasing unto the Lord and what's not. You know, it's gonna be like the Lord would not be pleased if you do that. Yeah, go do that video. Yeah, go do this. Don't go. Don't go there. Don't go. Don't do that. Yeah, do that. That's gonna please the Lord. You know, we just gotta tune into that spirit, man. Okay. And deliver them. It said, and deliver them. So if you take heed unto the Lord and you fear Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, the Lord said, what? He's gonna have the angels protect you, especially in these times, man. You know. The Lord said, fear you need a doubt. What? I, I would deliver you from the same from the same troubles he's about to bring. Okay, through what the angels? Okay, matter of fact, uh, um, Daniel's the twelfth chapter. Get that, brother. 
you know, showing that the angels are going to be protecting the elect of the nation of Israel, you know, all this that we're hearing, all right, should be enough for you to get right, okay, and that, that goes for us first, you know, we hear these things, and the Lord just allowing us to live, that's enough, you know, because what, he's deleting a lot of people out here, okay, like, see, so you had the 14-year-old boy, you know, and that video, you had another video, another amusement park somewhere that falling apart. You yeah, know the little twirl, you know the little twirl thing that twirls you around. You had uh, you two Jake kids with the gun. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yep, yep. The the Jake woman, Jake woman, Jake uh, a young man. Okay, when we say Jake, we talk about you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, she had the gun. She you know popped dude in the head, and then she got so distressed that she popped herself. You know, <laughs> now they both gone in the spiritual realm. That's why they didn't fear the God of the Bible. Yahweh Shemuel Shai. This is Daniel chapter twelve. Mm -hmm. Daniel chapter twelve, verse one. It says, "And at the, and at that time, shall Michael stand up?" Mm -hmm. And Michael is the archangel. All right, one of the head angels under Lord Yahweh Shai. So this is how bad stuff is about to get back on the earth. Okay, you know. It's really about to get real bad on this planet, okay? That's to the point that a powerful angel like that has to come down and, and protect the elected nation of Israel, okay? The great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. The elect, okay, of the nation of Israel. And there shall be a time of trouble mm -hmm. such as never was since there was a nation mm -hmm. even, to the, even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Mm -hmm. What, the elected nation of Israel? So this is Jacob's trouble, all right? Like brother was saying in the spirit lately, you're not going to have to ask when Jacob's trouble is. You're just going to know, all right, by all the things that's going to be happening around you. It's going to be unspeakable, okay? Words can't give it true justice, all right? Only, as the scripture say, well, only with thy eyes should I see the reward of the wicked, Okay? The Lord is going to really show us what he's going to do to this place real soon. Okay? This is why we got to fall in line right now. All right? Us waking up every day, that should be more motivation for you to turn back to the God of the Bible. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Bashai. Okay? Everyone that shall be found written in the book. In what? The book of life. Okay? They're going to be protected, man, in that time. The Lord's going to deliver them. Okay? And that's only if what? That's only the elected nation of Israel. The Lord's going to be part of that number that we diligently seek him. And ultimately, that we be found worthy to escape the death and destruction that's about to come. Okay? You need Luke uh, 21 and 36. We'll end it off on that, bro. You know, because that's what you want in these times, man. And that only comes with obedience, the fear of the Lord, the trusting in Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, the word that calls God and Jesus Christ. Okay? And taking heed to that wisdom, which is the fear of the Lord. The spirit. We used to talk about wisdom, which Proverbs is. The wisdom, written you know, by King Solomon, okay, majority of them, all right. But what is wisdom? Wisdom, according to Job 28 and 28, is the fear of Yahweh by Shema Shai. So the fear of the Lord, <laughs> if you have that, him allowing you to live should be enough for you to get right, man, okay? <clears throat> this is uh, Luke 21 and 36. Mm -hmm. Watch ye therefore and pray always. See, watching the time that we're living in. Seeing that the days that we live in is very, very evil, okay, very, very bad. All right, you ready? That ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things. That you, should... you want to be slacky, brother. You want to be accounted worthy. You know, not everybody's found worthy. The scriptures tell you in Jeremiah uh, eleven and eleven that what two thirds of our people, all right, are not going to be found worthy to escape the judgment to come. Okay, but the elect is all right. It says that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass mm -hmm. and to stand before the Son of Man. So when Lord Yahweh shot up on the scene, you know you did everything to please him. You denied you denied the karagma. You know, you hey, you know, you you picked the Lord first, you know. Because you denying the karagma, that means you fear the God of the Bible, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So you pin the fear of the Lord at top. Guess what? Your salvation is near. Alright? That's why we got to pray the Lord's will that we part of the elected the nation of Israel, man. Okay? Because they're the ones that's going to be obedient and ultimately end up receiving long life because of their obedience. Okay?
So hopefully this is edifying to the elected nation of Israel. And I don't want to keep it too long. You know, before we close out, let's like, give it all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yeah, Hawa by Shem Yahushai by Shem Kadash. That they double honor to our apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well and tell us the truth according to the Bible. A shallow one to our brothers out there that the full comes earth pushing his word and our righteousness and sincerity until next time to the elect. We say shallow one. Shallow one. DTA, Ababa, Ba, soon and very soon. Shallow one. Shallow one.